Yeah, good job. That's a good girl. So I'm gonna put you a second more. So messing around with her body while you're playing will help also desensitize her. You saw that head turn backwards me? Because she's gonna be in an aroused state, but then she's getting, you know, hands all over her and stuff like that. What? Honey, yeah. Go get that. Ooh, good girl. Okay, so now we're gonna do a settle. For now, oh, where's my treat? For now, um, I'm gonna just trade her for the item with some food since she doesn't have a drop. Oh, she already did. Does she know drop? I, just, I said drop and she just dropped it. That would be impressive. Okay, so the toy. And so here, I'm just gonna feed her at a pretty decent pace. And then she's gonna be off in her default behaviors, as you see. I'm gonna stay on the ground to facilitate her relaxing. And actually, my hands are moving too fast. She's just very calm. But really, it should be pretty slow movement. I'll wait for the DOWN. There's 32 or three. I want you to notice how she's lying down. She's in a sphinx. Let's see if we can get it. There she is on the head. And so here we're just gonna hang out here for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna play again. So I'm gonna push pause and know that we'll have rested and settled for a few minutes and then we're gonna play again. And what this teaches her is a lot of resilience and flexibility to be able to go from a heightened state to a relaxed state. Okay, so we've been resting, so now we are going to start playing again. Free. And so you see how she didn't jump right up? That's how you know she was pretty rested. If she pops right back up, she never got into a relaxed state. Get that toy. And sometimes when she comes back, um, she's like, stop touching me. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, don't go straight for the toy. Um, you can just kind of pet her a couple of times. Obviously not as much as I did because she was like, stop touching me. What is that sound? Go away. Go get that toy. Oh, whoa. Good job. So sometimes if we go straight for the toy while they're learning they end up thinking that we've stolen it from them and then why would they want to bring the toy back to us i know that's a very loud squeaky brake sound so trying to get her to play through that sound is another way to do it if you don't have treats on you or if she's not super concerned because if she can take that arousal she's feeling from the garbage truck and put it into the toy how cool is that right <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> that was good. Good job. Yes. That's a good girl. That one I grabbed. She was literally presenting it to me to grab.
job. Got a little bit more of a timid bite today because of our garbage truck. Sometimes pushing back on her will build that drive to grab it more. Good job. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going, John. Keep going, John. Nice. Oh, what? And when she pulls back, you can let her win. She's celebrating, so you don't go for the toy right now. You wait till she comes and presents it like that. That was good. <laughs> Keep your toy. Playing keep away to build the arousal to get a really good bite. Oh, that one was one bite. Yes, it was. Oh. Oh, you really got that one. My bad. Yeah, she presents it. That's good. What? Move forward and back like she's winning. And then she can, I would say she should win quite a bit. Because otherwise, how fun is it? Whoa, and we're gonna settle again for this. Good job. Did a trade, she dropped it on her own, I put the toy away, and then we drip feed again. Paying for the stand, just to bring that arousal down easily. She offers the default SIT. I'm going to use the camera right there. The golden tube right there. And then we settle. Oops. And we do this for a few minutes. We do three or four rounds of this. She's probably going to be a little a little tired. Next one. Yep, and we're going to do this for a few more minutes. And then we'll call it a session and get back to some structured work. 